I really feel, um, I, I feel like I've, I've tapped into the law of attraction and the law of allowing. I, I really, um, I, I feel, I'm, I, I found great love and I, I share a wonderful relationship with the most wonderful woman in the world. And, and I have um, a, a really, I love life. I, I, it's fun, you know, it's it just everything. I'm happy and excited and passionate all in healthy, like all the things that I can allow, um, I, I understand the law of allowing and having that be all part of me. And w so my thing is I'm tr I don't understand my resistance and allowing in financial abundance in all of this. I, I, I'm kind of running I don't get it. It's it's something. It's a resistance that comes up, and every time I start doing really well, I have to deal with this again. And I feel like everything else that I have allowed, uh, that is attracted to me, are things I can really manage. I can manage my happiness and my love and my health. But that thing that's so tangible, that's like so close, and yet. But what we're saying to you is, if you will just manage your love. If you will just manage that emotion that you can manage and stop messing around with the stuff that you think you can't manage when you stop messing around with it that the vibration of of it not working will dissolve within you and then the grid will fill in with the abundance that you're seeking it's it's that feeling that I can't get it and so I have to keep after it that keeps that vibration active within you which is preventing what you want from coming but there's a contradiction because if you can manage so you can are, you said to us i can manage the love can you, but, i can allow it and i can allow the happiness and and the joy and the fun as it as it relates to what to me in my life and how i live it generally spoken and good but what except for this one area yes it is just that one area and so what we're saying is if you could stop talking and thinking about that one area, you wouldn't keep it active. I, I feel like I have sometimes stopped talking about it, but I do what I, I don't know how to completely let go of it. That is why I'm here. I mean, that's why what I'm asking. Why? Because money matters because money is evident in every day because it's on my mind because bills come because I live in a physical world where I have right. to eat physical food and pay physical rent and so on so you have to find a way to make those conversations more general and less specific because they are specific and not working so you've got to make them specific and working but you can't go from specific and not working to specific and working so you have to go from specific to general so tell us how you generally feel about finances. Uh, stressed. All right. So, and, and you know that stressed is evidence of resistance. And so you've pinpointed that there's any, that there's an emotional grid that is filling in with things that equal stress. And you want to change the emotional grid from a stressful one to a better feeling one. So try to go from the general feeling of stress to the general feeling of relief try to def try to try to do that in some way with some conversation with some approach i'm doing pretty good i'm doing all right i'm i stress more than i need to i make bigger deals out of things than i need to and and i feel you following the, yeah, the theme here Yes. And I, and I sincerely do feel all as well and always will be like, I do feel it's well, now you're getting, you're getting a little more specific than you're ready for. So just stay in that, okay. stay in that general thing. Things have always worked out. I always find a way. Um, I get, I get ideas that come. I'm making too much of this things in my life are generally working out other areas of my life are working out really well I'm getting it in regard to that or in regard to that or in regard to that I eventually will get it in regards to this I don't have to figure it out right now I don't have to fix anything right now this red-hot minute I'm just wanting to produce a feeling of relief a feeling of relief is what I'm reaching for right now because a feeling of relief is a feeling of less stress and so I I 
can do this just with my words to myself just by choosing a quiet tone or maybe by going and laying the water of the ocean or maybe by laying in on the beach or maybe by looking at the landscape or maybe by listening there are lots of things I do that just relax me I'm now understanding that my dominant intention is to find some relief it's not my dominant intention right now to find work it's not my dominant intention to find some way of bringing more money it's not my dominant intention to do all those things that's too specific my dominant intention right now is to find some way of feeling some relief and so I'm talking myself into it I'm using the sort of cadence I'm reminding myself that all is well I'm going to breathe some more I'm going to get into a better feeling place I don't have to fix it this red-hot minute there isn't anything that's really broken anyway everything's working out all right for me I'm beginning to feel some relief it's beginning to feel a little bit funny to me I don't know why I was making such a big hairy <laughs> deal out of anyway there isn't anything that has ever come out of stress anyway every time I've ever been stressed it got a lot worse before it got better and the only reason that it ever started to get better was because I I took a nap or I chilled out in some way or I changed the subject or I moved I changed businesses I moved I moved to a whole other arena where I approached it in a whole other way I changed the subject I got less specific and every time I got less specific things got better and so that's what my goal is here to get less specific and to get feeling better now you're feeling better already aren't you I aren't am. you feeling better I am for feeling better you're already. feeling you're feeling yes. better it doesn't it doesn't feel like it felt when you first sat down and so now you're feeling a little better you've got that general feeling of well-being if you wanted to you could get more specific if you wanted to we wouldn't for a while we just enjoy the feeling of well-being we would just enjoy we would say things like well now I'm expecting that that the grid will fill in with some more obvious things and I don't want to try to dictate how it happens but I am going to enjoy watching it beginning to happen I, I there's nothing more exciting oh, here's something really good so you know how when you make up your mind about something maybe you think you got a psychic hit on something or maybe you just came to a conclusion politicians do it all 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 the time so do scientists uh, so, so uh, anyone who spends a lot of time thinking about things is a very common thing that they come to a conclusion about something they come to conclusions about things wanted and they come to conclusions about things not wanted and then they revel in the evidence that supports the conclusion that they've come to we think that is just the funniest thing that you do you come to a conclusion of something that you don't want and then you celebrate every time you see evidence that supports this thing you don't want and you go aha I knew it and we say aha you're creating it you're creating it so what you want to do is is create this feeling of well-being and then watch for the evidence that supports it and when you see it aha I knew it I felt that coming I knew that was coming you see yeah. there are so many people out here on the manifested edge sifting through the details of what's manifested and getting into that state of confusion that we were talking about earlier where it's so much simpler to work at the basis of the general basis of the emotion that you want to feel and friends it's got to be easier than you're making it because every single thing that you want no matter what it is material object a pile of money a relationship a circumstance or an events a movement in the political arena everything that you want no matter what without exception always has been always will be for one reason you think you will feel better when it happens you think you will feel better and if we can just convince you here today that you have the power within you to conjure the feeling better now before it happens to not need it to happen before you conjure the feeling of it that you can get general enough to find the essence of the feeling of what you want you will have created a vibrational grid that will fill in with the details to support what you have accomplished every time and that's what deliberate creation is at its best now there's nothing wrong with creating stuff you don't want because how do you know what you do want if you don't create some of what you don't want how do you know that you want more money flowing until you've really expen experienced some shortage how do you really know that how do you know who you like to hang around with until you've hung around with some that you've really not enjoyed all that much how do you know how do you know what you like to eat until you've eaten around enough to know what tastes good to you what you get to define all of that we're not trying to get you to go in one direction or another on anything 
we just want you to know that you have enough contrast around you enough variety enough buffets on enough different subjects that you have already very well established you've determined clearly who you are and what you want and that resides in a vibrational vortex that is calling you but you can't get to the specifics of that magnificent vortex if you are vibrationally out of whack so now stay with us because this is new those specifics of that vortex have been coming into being over a long period of time meaning the length of your physical experience and even before in other words you've been putting those details there those details there and each time you move to a new idea of what you prefer your vortex becomes it and your inner being becomes it and is it and holds the vibrational tone the vibrational latitude the vibrational place marker holds the vibrational space for it you see so here's this very specific thing that has happened we don't think if you we know for sure that if you were able to look into your vortex it would take you more than this lifetime just to articulate the details of what are what's in there it's that much specific detail of really amazing wonderful stuff each and every bit of it pleasing to you when you get there so just take our word for it it's really good and it's really specific so when you're out here specifically focused upon the absence of this specific stuff you've put there you couldn't be further from allowing yourself the law of attractions help in bringing you what you want but if you will not not be specific but instead say this specific is making me crazy this focusing on what I want when I don't know how to do it or how to accomplish it is making me crazy I'm just gonna go general and you deliberately bring yourself to this general place where you talk about things like general well-being like the earth turning in its orbit like the Sun coming up every day and it's not even on your things to do today list like <laughs> like you breathing all night long without an without a machine that's making you breathe and like your blood's pumping and like your metabolism is working and like and like things are working in your environment and the garbage truck does come every Monday just like it is supposed to as you focus upon the these general things of well-being the the general things of well-being until you reestablish within yourself this feeling of well-being you can move from that general feeling of well-being right into the specifics of your vortex you can you can move right in there but you can't get it there from the specifics of what's not working and that's why every conversation that we've had here today we're just trying to get you to stop trying to manipulate the manifestation in order to be happy we want we've said to you for years if you will leave the money out of the equation more than you will have time to spend will flow into your experience and people think that that twists their brain into a knot what do you mean leave money out of the equation how could I leave money out of the equation we say by making other things more important by making it more important how you feel when you sit on the beach and it didn't cost you any money and don't tell us the glass cost money we know we know you can argue you you can argue your way out of alignment anytime you want but by looking for the evidence of things that are working that's what you got to do look for the evidence of things that are working and the most important thing that you have going is that you have the ability to move your mind in a way that gives you a feeling of ease without any manifestation happening in the moment you can be happy before the wedding you can be happy before your 15 year old does what you think he needs to do at school you can be happy you can be happy when under any and all conditions you can be happy under any and all conditions you can be happy under any and all conditions you can be happy under any and all conditions but happy has to be the goal and the condition will take a second place to it and then the happy will cause the condition to morph You have to decide are you creating what you're creating for others adulation or are you creating what you're creating for your own alignment and joy in other words you, you just have to make that decision and once you've decided it's for your own alignment and joy and then you show yourself that no matter what you can feel good now no matter what you can feel good now no matter what you can feel good now and sometimes enough has to happen to make you miss not feeling good long enough that you put the feeling good as your top priority but it's our promise once you put the feeling good as your top priority everything else will fall into place 
because you have the ability to feel good no matter what. No matter what. Good? Yeah, I do. Good.